right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, Al Jermaine Punkmaster Sterling. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Calvin Keita. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go with round one, and here is Aljamain Sterling. He has been a prolific finisher, but most of his finishes have been of the attritative variety. Not in round one. Breaks his opponents down before eventually getting him out of there. We'll see if Aljo can get off to a good start tonight. Oh, my goodness. What a kick. For that left hand, not there. Oh, Superman punches Drew. Both guys appeared to land there. All right, so there it is. And the first takedown comes pretty early. The boxer felt good about his takedown defense coming in. He is unable to stop the wrestler's first shot. It's one thing to train with all of your partners and they give you a feel. But there's nothing like being in there with the guy. This guy's a high-level wrestler and he showed that with that beautiful takedown. He passes the half. Hey, a lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's on, now he's got the arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. Grab the wrist, grab his wrist. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Gets he jump. That guillotine is toy. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. While the ground and pound has been working for him, nice job here by Stern. Right into side control. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Sterling's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. 20 seconds left. We take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Nice spinning attack there, able to land to the body. Straight right, he misses. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. The fighters separate. What a beautiful jab landing there.
Straight right is there. Takedown defense holds up. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, roundhouse kick. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Man, takedown defense one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes I watch this boxer stuff shots, and it seems like he's been wrestling his whole life. Well, that's the first thing you have to do when you come into this sport is learn to defend takedown. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Do it. That's gotta be it. Oh, he got out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward, then off to the side, rolled to his back to release that pressure. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Sterling. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lance for him. And he is back up to his feet. Just that of range with that left hook. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping over and over. He's throwing it, and he's a boxer, so he throws it a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA players used to see. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood in the water, you gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. to the head. Final seconds. And that spinning kicked out of Tomoko. Huge shot finds the target. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can Ready get it back together before Ready. it started the next round. Third round underway. Oh, nice punch there by Sterling. Punch there. Sterling going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. Cater's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You gotta think that body investment is gonna pay dividends later. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he lands that teeth. Takedown defense is there. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. The front master delivers.
we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 56 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, El Germain Punkmaster Sterling. All right, so Al Germain Sterling getting it done and getting it done by knockout no less. You have to respect his entire arsenal. Perhaps the opposition did not do that tonight. I mean, the Funkmaster, a guy that you're used to worried about the decisions or the submissions, goes out there and puts a stamp on this victory, getting a knockout. A lot of people have tried to take his belt. Floyd Mayweather even tried to take his girl. Mm -hmm. No one's taking anything not from happening. this man. It was not happening. 